right, folks, John Rush today, my son Richard Rush behind the camera. This is a review of the 2016 uh, Lexus RX 450H, the H standing for hybrid. Now, we reviewed some of the 450s in the past. It's a great car. It's been a staple of uh, Lexus and really put Lexus on the map. Their 26th year anniversary. They've sold over 109,000 units of this particular vehicle. It really has been a mainstay for Lexus. So as we get into walking around the vehicle, you'll notice it's got the spindle grille in the front, which is kind of iconic now uh, to, uh, to Lexus. You'll notice it's got the blue around the emblem, which is, which is their standard for the hybrid. This has the optional uh, LED lights, the square lights, and they light up around you. They've got kind of the, the LED on the bottom that actually light up. Really a great lighting system that... Uh, Lexus did so some of the things that they've done new for 2016. The floating roof line as you're going down the side, Richard's showing you that right now. 12 point inch or 12.3 inch screen that's mounted on top of the dash. I'll show you that in there a little bit uh, in, in just a little bit here. Uh, the car is now built in, I shouldn't say now, but it is built in Canada, Ontario, or in Ontario, Canada, I should say. Uh, you're noticing the LED uh, lamps now with the floating roof line. They've, they've wrapped the lights into it. Of course, these little little uh, jettisons that come out or to help with aerodynamics. This car is actually more aerodynamic than it used to be, even though it's slightly larger. It's about 4.7 inches uh, longer, same height, which gives you more interior room, which they've built into it, but yet it's still agile, works very well. Uh, it's got more headroom and leg room, acoustic glass all around to make it quieter on the inside. Uh, the, the body is more rigid. They're using aluminum in the front now and in the back. I believe the, the hood and the gate both now are aluminum. 308 combined horsepower on the hybrid is what you get in this particular vehicle. And as we get into the interior, I'll show you some new features there. But really, good looking car. They've done a great job. I love the styling on it. They, they, you know, the NX came out first, then they redid the RX. They sort of look like big brother, little brother. And really, that's how the two look. Uh, when they're going down the road and uh, you're anymore, it's getting tougher to tell the difference between the NX and the RX. You know, we can tell it pretty easily because we review cars a lot and it's fairly easy for us. If you don't pay a lot of attention, it's pretty easy to kind of notice one versus the other. The RX, of course, being the much larger of the two and much more capacity. So with that, I tell you what, we'll just get right into the back. One thing I need to do real quick is we're going to stop the camera. I'll lock the car and I'll show you how the gate operates. All right, folks, before I walk up to the car and show you how the back opens because there's a neat, cool feature on it. This car, as it sits... $64,610. It starts out at $53,000. The all-weather drive performance credit, it says on here, is $1,400, which really isn't a credit. They're actually charging you that. A cold weather package, $315. Power folding heated rear seats, $840. Heads-up display, which is now color, is $600. The Lexus safety system with the headlights we just showed you, the, the, you know, the additional headlights on the front, uh, the square being LEDs, the triple beams, $2,250. The touch-free rear door, which I'm going to show you in just one second, is $200. The luxury package, which includes a lot of different things from leather trim seats, heated steering wheel, 20-inch wheels, uh, rear door sunshades, LED ambient illumina illumination, illuminated door sills, and so on, $3,100. The panoramic sunroof, which is really cool. We'll show you that on the interior, $500. The uh, navigation system, the 12.3-inch screen, $1,510. And the dual screen rear entertainment system, which again we'll get into when we get the interior, is $2,100. So again, a total of $64,610 is the price. So as I walk up to the vehicle, key fob is in my pocket. To get into the vehicle, touch it. I don't even really have to touch it. I just kind of put my hand across it and it would actually pop right up. Lots of room in the back of the of the Lexus RX. They, you know, they've been known for that. Again, a staple in the Lexus line. Plenty of room back here. As I pop open this area, you have a little bit of storage back here, but not a lot with the hybrid version. Keep in mind, there's batteries in this vehicle that there's not in the standard hybrid. So you're losing some capacity in that. All right, other feature in the back, med kit. So again, nice storage capacity in the back. You can also fold down the seats. If I hit the button... Hold it down for a second. It will actually fold all the way down. Now, one thing that we noticed a moment ago is if the console is up, that seat may not go all the way down. So you've got to make sure that the console in that center seat is actually folded up. Otherwise, it will actually automatically retract. The other nice thing about that is if you forgot, left something in the seat, it's not going to go down and, and, you know, and crush whatever's in the seat. It will pop back up and tell you with a warning signal that it actually did that. And to, to raise it back up, again, hold the button again. 
and it'll pop itself back up. So really, that's kind of a nice feature, really cool. Gives you the ability from the back to actually, you know, recline, or not recline, but to actually fold that seat down, raise the seat back up. Speaking of that, let's just climb into the back seat here real quick. And I think, Richard, this side might be better for lighting. And one thing you'll notice, we had, we had several people in this vehicle throughout the week. Uh, let Richard show you that real quick. On the interior, nice soft touch material throughout. Lots of hand stitching now on the RX that you'll notice. Uh, these are heated seats in the rear also, which makes sure that everybody notices that. And you can also control, and I'll show as Richard pans back out here, I'll show you the button. You can actually control the way the seat folds right here with these buttons also. So I could do the same thing you just noticed a moment ago just by hitting those buttons right there. The sunshades in the back, which we just talked about a moment ago, we'll pop those up. I'll climb in. And again, even with the rear entertainment system back here, it's up high enough where it's not bothering you at all. These will flip out. You can, you can actually see what you're doing very easily. There's headsets that are down here in the door pockets that work with this via Bluetooth. There's no wires to run. It works fantastic. You can in the back back here plug in. There is an HDMI port. It's really hard with the lighting, but down here there is volume controls and an HDMI port where you can plug some other things in along with a 110 volt outlet. It's not a grounded outlet, but just a regular 110 outlet as well as a 12, 12 volt power port. Nice big sunroof, which we'll open up in a, mo in a moment and just show you. But very, very comfortable car. I will show you the console. You can fold the console down here. And uh, it's a nice console. It's, a, it's a, actually a pass-through here. So as the console folds down, you've got a pass-through here. If I fold this back up, I can then just pull the console down, pop open the cup holders. And there's actually even a little bit of storage compartment in here for the remote, for the actual screens. Very well done on all of that, by the way. Lexus, the nice uh, pass-through I really enjoy. If you were going to go skiing and you still had a couple of passengers, you wanted to put some stuff through the middle of that, you could do all of that at the same time and then head out without having to put anything up on the roof, which frankly, I really like. The idea of taking things off the roof, being able to put them inside the vehicle will actually improve fuel economy, which is what this hybrid unit is all about. With that, let's jump into the front seat. All right, folks, now on the front seat, again, 2016 RX 450H, and really the interior is very much a 450 across the board. Excellent job, uh, Lexus. You've done a fantastic job. Nice stitching throughout the seats. They're comfortable. Nice, nice support throughout. Uh, this car works well, it handles well, it drives well. The doors on the bottom, the pockets will actually fold out some to give you more room. The sound system is great in the car. You've got a large glove box over here that you push the button. Nice big glove box there, center console. Not super big, but big enough. I mean, it works well. It's got a couple of USB ports inside of it, and it actually works well also. It also has a 12-volt 12, 12 uh, power port inside of it. Uh, they've done a nice job the way you actually sit in the vehicle. I enjoy driving this vehicle. Your hands, where your elbows sit, everything ergonomically speaking, they've done a fantastic job on. All right, so we're just showing you a lot of the soft touch features inside, ergonomically where things are at. Now I want to show you the moonroof. So if I hit the, and the, we've got the car started right now, so you just heard the engine start because it's, it's hot today and the AC just kicked on. So if I hold this back, it actually opens this, this moonroof, which will go all the way back even the backseat passengers get to enjoy a nice view. If I then want to open it, I hit this button, and that'll open it up in the front, give you lots of air coming in. Now, it doesn't go much any further back than this just because of the way it's designed. Again, really, it's designed to let more of the sun through, give you that appearance of a convertible. And as you can tell, the hybrid engine just shut off a moment ago. Um, again, with the, with the hot weather we've got in Colorado right now, it'll come on and off and cycle depending upon what the air conditioning needs are cool feature on the hybrid. So this vehicle works great. We've loved driving it. I tell you what, let's just do that. We'll go for a drive. I'll go through another, a few other features that are on the vehicle. Everything from the LFA inspired steering wheel. Lexus, you've done a great job on the interior of this vehicle. I will say that. One of the things that my wife even commented on was she, as we were driving it over this past weekend is, wow, they've really done a nice job. A lot of great upgrades. Very, very comfortable car to drive. All right, folks, uh, before we take the drive, continue up with the, uh, the front seat here real quick. And as we start driving, you'll notice the big 12.3-inch screen, and it's a dual screen. We've showed you some of those in the past. I'm not going to get a lot of detail of that. Some cool features it has, though, when I put it in reverse, you'll notice real quick, it does have dynamic grid lines. So if I want to get real close to the curb over here, I can do that. And hopefully the weeds won't send an alert, but I can get right next to the curb, as you can see. There is an option on this car. This does not have it. 
for a panoramic view of around the vehicle. So that is an option you can actually get on this vehicle. As I go back into park and kind of finish up here before we get going, the rest of the screen is pretty standard, which frankly, I know a lot of reviewers don't like it, but I find it very intuitive. Your hand sits right here, your fingers are on top, you can use the back button over here on the right side, or you can hit the right, or on the left side rather, hit the right side with your button if you want to actually do something. So if I go to radio and I just want to toggle that, I can, if I want to go to my source, I just scroll the score, source, hit it. I can also depress this to make it happen. However you want to do it, it's a very, very easy system to use. I like it. I like the split screen. I enjoy that part of it also. So Lexus, as far as I'm concerned, thumbs up. I think you've done a great job. The different modes on the vehicle are right here also. You can go from eco to normal to the sport mode. EV mode is down below, which is all electric, 25 miles an hour and under, depending upon battery capacity. And one thing we can show you real quick before we start driving is as we get into the apps, which are right here, you can actually get into a full set of apps that you can load up on your smartphone, do all sorts of things with. And uh, it's just called Lexus's App Suite. It is a part of the, uh, the Entune system and it actually works out really, really well. Uh, if I go to the information screen, that will take us into what we want to look at as far as fuel consumption, what the vehicle's actually doing, how much how much have we used. You know, we can look at the, the energy part of it right here, uh, which tells you as you're driving what's happening with the actual vehicle itself. If I want to go back, I can just hit the left button and I can actually look at trip information. And as you can see, as you could see a moment ago, let me go back to that. Uh, we're averaging 30.4 miles to the gallon right now and most of that is around town some highway driving along with that which actually hurts the hybrid so 30 miles to the gallon in this vehicle not bad considering the typical RX is in the low 20 so adaptive cruise control you control it on the steering wheel right now and again as I said LFA uh, inspired steering wheel it feels great this has a great steering feel to it as far as I'm concerned all your wiper controls are over here of course headlights a full color heads up display which the only downside to that any of you that have used heads up displays with polarized sunglasses will know you really can't see the heads up with polarized glasses it's just the way it works you've got to use a non-polarized sunglass if you really want to optimize your heads up display in the color mode but it gives you all the information that you want right now it shows me compass what's going on with my lanes what's happening as far as my my hybrid system is working miles per hour and what gear I'm in all of that right in front of you and it works great the L the LCD screen in front same situation gives you a lot of great information with that let's just go take a quick drive and one thing I will tell you about the RX, and again, heated, sorry, I didn't think I mentioned this, heated and ventilated front seats, as long as a, a, a park assist that's in this vehicle, and of course your e-brake is right in the middle, there's nothing to, to, to you know crank or push down with your foot or anything, it's all push button electronically driven. So as you start off with the hybrid, not a lot of noise. You'll notice even when I hit on the gas, this thing will operate really seamlessly in the battery mode. Uh, for quite some time it works great if I scroll over here to the energy you'll actually see what's going on right now we're all electric if I give it a little bit of gas engine instantly kicks on don't even notice it and off we go the car has great acceleration it just it just works fantastic this is one of my as you can tell one of my favorite vehicles I like this vehicle is it too high priced you would have to be the judge of that ride uh, quality in the car is in my opinion, fantastic. Uh, we're going over some very, very rough roads right now doing roughly 30, 25 miles an hour, I should say. And it's as smooth as silk. Even our camera's not bouncing around much. Again, this car works fantastic. Um, I don't know what else to say about it. It's just one of those great cars that you will drive for years and years and years to come and fully enjoy. So I think as you can tell, you know, what do we think of this car? I like this car. Um, what are the cons to it? Some would say price, and that's all in the eye of the, uh, the, the beholder and who's, who's got the wallet, who's got the purse strings. One of the things that Richard and I mentioned earlier is we have reviewed recently the new BMW X5, their uh, electric plug-in version of a hybrid. That's $10,000 more money than this car. You'd have to really determine whether that's worth buying or do you just stay at $65,000 and buy an RX 450H with all of the well-known, let's, let's, let's get this right, get, get this straight, everybody understands, Toyota Lexus, leaders in hybrid technology. Not saying that some of the other manufacturers don't have great technology, 
but they've been doing it the longest. They do it very well. This car, when the engine engages and disengages, it's seamless. You don't even know it's come on. They have done a fantastic job of that where you don't even realize the engine has actually uh, been started. Done a great job on Lexus. I enjoy it. I like the new look. I think it looks much better. Um, it's no longer what I would call the mom SUV, uh, where in the past I think a lot of women you know, really kind of gravitated towards this vehicle. It's got a much more manly appearance to it now. The spindle grille that they've done in the front, along with that same design in the back, they've done a great job in how it looks. A lot of great features. If you're interested in the vehicle, go to your local Lexus dealer, test drive it, see for yourself how great the car is. When you do that, tell them John and Richard Rush from Drive Radio sent you.